Increased crime rates, that's just some of what's driven many people to leave California. Joining us to further discuss the issue is the California exodus is president of the Golden State Policy Council, Senator Melissa Melendez. Melissa, good morning. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Oh, good morning. Thanks for having me on. I wish I had a little bit of happier news, but I think everyone understands and has recognized that we have a lot of people leaving California for, um, you know, a more economical place to live and raise a family. I think we all at this point know somebody, but the numbers are staggering. Um, this I got from your correspondence here. Between April of 2020 and July of 2022, we lost 500,000 people in California. And about the same time span, we lost almost, uh, well, let's say over 11,000 here in San Diego County. Yeah, we've lost a lot of people. They've gone to various states throughout the country um, looking for either a more economical place to live, a place that has, uh, you know, better better schools for their children, a place where their money goes a little further. And that's over every industry in California, whether it's your utility bills, which we've all seen spike recently to the cost of fuel to put in your car, to just being able to afford a home, either to buy one or to rent one. It's just become increasingly more unaffordable. And then add to that, we have a homelessness crisis where California has seen the largest increase in homelessness in the last decade. And we are in the number one spot we have a lot of people who are homeless in California. Yeah, we do. And I think one thing that's frustrating for so many citizens is the fact that we, the California keeps voting the same people in, despite the fact that they're running things into the ground. It's just mind boggling. Yeah, that's kind of mind boggling to me too. I think a lot of people don't realize that the policies coming out of Sacramento are what are causing their life to be a little more expensive. For instance, your electricity bills. So I think people are under the impression that, oh, it's just these greedy utility companies, but they don't realize it's it's the policies that California puts in place, like subsidizing solar for homes, like subsidizing electric vehicles, like you know, a whole host of things that people don't realize they are paying for that. If you don't have solar on your home, you are paying for the for the solar on your neighbor's home or the home in in a different area of the state. You're paying for someone else's electric vehicle. All of those things come at a cost, and people are seeing the increase and they're wondering, you know, where is where's all my money going? Because I don't see that the roads are improving. I don't see that my schools are improving, and they're getting very very. Which is why you see so many people leave which is an entire congressional seat and the last redistricting round. And with that comes less federal funding for Medicare, for Medicaid, for transportation, all these things that Californians can rely on. So it really does impact everyone. So what what can be done other than other than at the at the uh, ballot box? What for, can frustrated Californians do other than move out or bite the bullet? Well, there are a lot of people who would like to move out, but they just can't, or they just, you know, the California, like like I feel, and you know, this is our home, and we don't want to leave it behind. And I think what people need to do is get get motivated, get activated, and get organized, and start contacting their legislators and say, look, you are causing me to not be able to live in the manner that I want to live in California, even though I have a good job, even though I may have send an email, make a phone call, I'll show up at a hearing, show up at a, at a town hall, partner with Golden State Policy Council so that we can continue to push on Sacramento to do things that make people's lives easier, not harder. Okay. Is there a website our viewers can go to to find out more? Yes, they can go to goldenstatepolicy.com, and there's plenty of information on there, as well as an, a way for them to contact us if they want to partner with us. We're going to be traveling up and down the state and partnering with the other nonprofit organizations in the state to, to bring these issues to light and really put some pressure on legislators because I don't think they're hearing from enough people. And, you know, as a former legislator, I know when you have a large group of people show up to complain about something, you pay attention and you take notice and you perhaps reevaluate what you're doing up there. And that's what we need to do is have more and more people say, look, I cannot take this anymore. You are driving me and my family out of my home. We want to stay. And if you don't want to make changes, then we'll find someone else who will. All right. Senator Melissa Melendez, thank you very much for your time and perspective.